Good morning. I am in Marseille in France. I just arrived last night and today I am ready because it is my birthday. We're celebrating. We're going to hire a car and drive around to Nice and maybe Saint Tropez. We're going to explore the south of France and I'm so excited because I've only been to Bordeaux and I'm so excited to see what France has to offer. I'm wearing a self portrait dress here and I'm really excited. So let's see the south of France starting with Marseille. Ah, oh, this is it. Oh, we found it. Yay, this is the car. <laughs> we just walked a long way to get it. And here we are. Looks lovely. here in Nice. <laughs> As you can see there is a lot of buildings and there's mountains in the distance that have a little villages on them. It is definitely different to Paris. So, we've had quite a big day, been rushing a lot. We've just had a two hour drive from Nice and now it's my birthday dinner. We're about five minutes late and we're panicking because it is the digger station. So hopefully they let us eat. <laughs> this place sounds really good. Can't wait to show you what it looks like. So uh, we are on our way to Saint-Tropez. Yesterday we went to Nice. It was quite a long day driving there and back. And today it's another two hour drive to get to Saint-Tropez. We're gonna go luxury shopping. And I think we're going to stop by a cafe and have something to eat before we start. But I am very excited. I know that Saint-Tropez is very pretty and the luxury stores there have a different type of design, more of like a homely feel. So can't wait to show you what it looks like. Just arrived in Saint Tropez and I can see why it's got quite a posh reputation. It is so beautiful. There is water right by the city and all the cars here are like Bentleys, Mercedes. <laughs> so yeah, cannot wait to see what it's like inside the city center. So these are how the streets look in Saint Tropez. They're kind of like old buildings and they don't always look obviously like a designer store. Spotted from a mile away, there was a Dior store I had much anticipated visiting while here in Saint-Tropez. I was honestly so thrilled to be visiting the Dior boutique again and I knew that on this trip I was going to spoil myself with something, but I needed some help making a decision on what that just might be. Upon reaching the store, I was greeted with friendly and helpful associates. One thing I noticed about the boutique was the mixture of different seasonal releases and the styling in every room. 
They mixed accessories with clothing and shoes in every room so that you could get a better idea of styling options. Oh I'm in awe with all of the designs inside this store. Kind of like it. It's, you can... it's nice, isn't it? Because it's not this hard. Yeah. Like, so. I wanted to throw this video in here as I know many of you struggle on tying your mitza around the handles of your bags. The sales associate really had an interesting technique and I loved how she tucked the it's silk underneath the, the Dior charm ringlet because that usually scratches the leather over time and leaves a dark mark. The white is really close to the, yeah. the off white. <laughs> so here we go back through mm -hmm. that. It's like a tie. Exactly. Okay. Then and then the smart part. The smartest thing is to go through here to secure it mm -hmm. and then just under the charms and since the silk does not transfer onto the leather, mm -hmm. don't ever worry about colors. Okay. Great handy tip. Also. I like the blue. So, I've made a Lady Dior purchase again. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out what I got. After shopping, it was more than a little bit windy outside, but we still decided to have a few champagnes out on the terrace and we had such a great time just relaxing and enjoying our day. smelling a few soaps I stumbled across a soap making museum and decided why not give it a shot and make one so we take our two ingredients soda and vegetable oil put it in a cauldron and we're going to heat it for several hours at 140 degrees dans le chaudron il y a une réaction chimique qui s'appelle la saponification dans la pâte Put everything in a big mixer. You can feel that. We're putting everything in and it's gonna give it shape and it's gonna come out through the exit right here. 
comme ça la machine. Quand le savon sort de la machine, il est and it's very soft. So it's very easy to put it in a press and give it shape. Vous pouvez choisir ce que vous voulez. Moi je Et à monsieur moustache. So, juste comme ça, juste avec les mains. Il y a Wow. Alors masse. What pattern are you going to make? Like a mark So it's our last full day here in Marseille. I feel so accomplished. We've been able to do so much on this trip. Uh, we just had lunch and then we stopped for a coffee in Marseille. Now this is the last day that we've got the car so we're taking it out to a drive to this garden area. We did have a bottle of champagne in the room but we're sort of contemplating how we're gonna uh, drink it and keep it cool so we just left it there we might have it tonight <laughs> yeah we're just going to really just take it easy and then we're flying out tomorrow if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and follow for more travel content bag unboxings and lots of tea videos